Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chris, and today I'm gonna to be talking about one of my very favorite notes in perfumery, vanilla. Vanilla is not just for the cold months. There are so many beautiful vanilla fragrances or vanilla-based fragrances that work perfectly for the warmer months. And since I am a huge vanilla lover, I have several that I wear and I will be wearing over the next several months. And I think I grabbed 10 or 11 for today's video. Again, not a complete list. I have some citrus vanillas that I will be showing in my lemon video, which hopefully I'll be filming in the next week or so. And with that being said, I'm going to get started because Saturday morning means lawn mowers are going to be out any minute now. So I'm gonna start my list with one of the biggest surprises in my collection. If you have been following me for some time, you would know that I am not a fan of Alien, the original Alien at all. It just didn't work out for me and nobody around me <laughs> liked it when I was testing it out. So I have tried several flankers and none of them worked. So I didn't jump on Alien Goddess when it first came out. And then when I started to hear talk that it smelled nothing like the original, that's when I was interested in trying it out. And I tried it out and I really, really liked it a lot. So I grabbed a full bottle. So this is the first Alien or Alien Flanker that I have been getting along with and I actually love. So to me, this reads as a salty vanilla and I love wearing salty vanillas in the summer, but I don't think there's any salt in here. I think there's a heavy dose of coconut water. And I think it's the coconut water that is faking me into thinking that this is a salty vanilla. Real coconut water does taste like it has electrolytes in there, electrolytes and minerals. And I think that's why I am kind of detecting a saline quality or a salting quality in here. There's also some freshness, it's, it's nice and fresh and bright and it has some florals in the background. I'm quite sure there's the famous alien jasmine but it doesn't read alien jasmine to me and I just love it. I've worn it several times this summer. It is actually work appropriate because it's not very heavy. So the only time people can smell me is when they get right into my scent bubble. I love it and I'm gonna start the list with one of the biggest surprises and a great love for me, Alien Goddess. During the video, I might be changing positions intermittently. I'm trying to avoid direct sunlight. I'm trying to stay in the shade. So the next vanilla is one of my most budget-friendly vanillas. This was in my Smell Expensive on a Budget. It is called World Power by Kenzo. Now, vanilla isn't listed, but I definitely get vanilla. I think it's Tonka that's listed. I would describe this as a salty cypressy vanilla. The vanilla in here, the type of sweetness in here is on the syrupy side, but what keeps it from being too cloying is that cypress, that evergreen. There's definite fresh evergreen in the background, and I think it's what saves this and gives it a lot of character. It's not like a lot of salty vanillas out there. I definitely get the Tonka note in the dry down, but the first thing I get is a sweet syrupy vanilla. I'm not typically a fan of sweet syrupy vanillas, but it's the salt and that fresh cypress evergreen note that completely saves this fragrance and I adore it. And I am positive I spent less than $50 on this little treasure of mine. One of my favorite vanillas of all time is a vanilla that can be worn all year round despite the name, which is Guimauve de Noël, which basically means Christmas marshmallow because people in France make marshmallows around Christmas time that have orange blossom water in them. This is an orange blossom vanilla marshmallow fragrance that I absolutely wear in the winter time, but it does wear lightly in the winter time. I discovered accidentally something magical happens to this perfume when applied on skin in the hot weather. It just warms it up and you turn into a walking orange popsicle or an orange creamsicle. It is delicious. In fact, this will probably be my scent of the day as soon as I'm done filming. It is in the ballpark of Love Don't Be Shy. Love Don't Be Shy is sweeter. It has a heavier marshmallow. This is a lighter, thinner marshmallow. And Love Don't Be Shy is a little bit more fruity. There are no fruit notes listed, but I definitely get this sweet, marshmallowy, sugary, orange blossom that I adore wearing year round, but especially in the summertime. Another super budget friendly vanilla is one by Ochamere and this is called Vani. This is a very, I would call it a linear vanilla. It's basically vanilla and cotton candy. Yes, it is an eau de toilette, but remarkably strong for an eau de toilette. I've worn this in the winter time, thought it was completely gone at hour four or five, had a doctor's appointment and had several people actually compliment me on how good I smelled. I was shocked. 
so I still have the price tag on here. This cost me all of $20, and I've subsequently purchased many in the line. I'm thinking about doing a video based on this house. Let me know if you want to hear that, but a fantastic, budget-friendly, simple, linear vanilla to wear in the summer. Another quick positional change is that sun is moving fast is woody vanillas. People don't typically think of woody vanillas being very hot weather or warm weather friendly. And I admit that I usually wear them in the winter time, but I have three woody vanillas. The first one I'm gonna talk about, I will do so quickly because I feel like I'm a broken record. And if you've been with me for several months, you will know this is one of my favorite vanillas. It is called the Architects Club by Arquiste. This is a fan, this is one of the best year-round, universally appealing, unisex, non-offensive vanilla fragrances in my collection or that I've ever tested. This is an aromatic woody vanilla. It's basically a lemon martini with a little angelica and two different types of woods. So it is very woody, but the way it's composed does not read heavy. This is, a, this is not a heavy fragrance, despite the fact that it has a delicious vanilla that leans gourmand, and it has two different types of wood, I wanna say oak and guyac wood. There's an angelic in here that gives it a green freshness, and it is a very pillowy, light vanilla fragrance. And because it wears lightly, I really have to coat myself in the winter time not so much in the summer, but it is a summer, but it is a work appropriate vanilla for that reason, and I adore it. Now the other two, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. The other two fragrances I have in my hand are by Commodity. One is, another one I have in my hand is Gold, Commodity Gold, and this is the Expressive. Yeah, this is the Expressive version. This is another aromatic woody vanilla. And before I wore these two side by side, I thought they were more similar than they actually are. This actually, this one actually does remind me a lot of, or has some similarities with Gypsy Water, which is another great aromatic vanilla. Again, it wasn't until I wore those two side by side that I started picking up some fairly big differences. So the wood in here is not as strong. This has a juniper note, and the juniper note is pretty prominent, and it dries into a nice ambery vanilla. Very work appropriate, not loud, but it lasted pretty much all day with a very small scent bubble. Now, the last one I have is Commodity Gold. Now, this is the personal, yes, this is the personal one. This is the newest one in my collection. And for purposes of transparency, this was sent to me in PR. They asked me which fragrance I wanted to try, and I said the personal gold because I wanted to compare it to some of my other woody vanillas. They have those different levels of, let's say, expression or strengths, but they're not the same fragrance. I highly, highly recommend getting the entire, if you're interested, I highly recommend getting the discovery set and seeing for yourself. It's really, it's not based on strength so much as it is a preference because I find that the fragrances differ from the notes and they differ how they wear. For example, this is not an aromatic vanilla. This is a, I would call it a molecular vanilla. So this has vanilla and ISO E Super, which is basically Molecule 01. And that is how it wears to me. It wears like Molecule 01 with a, night, with a nice light added vanilla. I get vanilla, I get a soft non-gourmand vanilla at first and maybe hour three to four, I start to smell like cedar shavings or pencil shavings, which I'm convinced I know it's the ISO E Super. So it is very quiet and doesn't last as long as the expressive version, but it's a very nice wear. And for that reason, I think it is a great summer or hot weather vanilla. Again, another one I have worn to work and another one I've worn in the hot weather. And it was very light wearing, but again, it didn't overpower me, it didn't suffocate me, and it was very work appropriate. You know, there are some days I just want to wear a vanilla and in j vanilla to work, and in general, like gourmand fragrances, sweet fragrances, in my opinion, are not work safe. So the, so the only way to get around that is to wear a fragrance that is light wearing and does not project. So when I'm really in the mood to wear vanilla, but I wanna wear it to work, I do have a small handful that fit in that situation, Architects Club, Commodity Gold. They fall into that category, so they work very well for me. The next one I grabbed is a vanilla that at first did not scream summer or hot weather. I thought it was basically a wintertime vanilla until I tried it in the hot weather. I think someone recommended it to me. And just like Guimauve de Noel, this one really does well in the warm weather. And this is Note Vanille by M. Mikalev. So this is a very boozy 
vanilla with some citruses and light florals. There's two types of um, spirits or alcohol in here, and even though it is a very boozy vanilla, it, you're just, you don't feel like you're ever drowning in alcohol. It's never too much, and I think it's because there are some light citruses in here and some very, very subtle florals in the background. A very decadent vanilla, but at the same time, it's very versatile. You can wear it in any situation. I would wear it in a casual situation, but I would be a little bit upscale casual. <laughs> lovely decadent boozy vanilla that works year-round and is very versatile okay so this next vanilla i've had in my collection for a while i had no idea there was controversy swirling around this vanilla because i absolutely adore it it smells great on me and the few times that my daughter has kind of snuck it out of my little collection and worn it herself it has smelled fantastic on her and it is vanille de tahiti so to me this is a combination of a sweet gourmandy milky vanilla with tropical flowers. Now, this animalic thing that people smell, I do not get. That potential animalic quality that some people are picking up, I, I absolutely don't get it all. So I'm kind of glad, it sounds terrible. <laughs> it sounds terrible what they're picking up. But sometimes when you put your, your face right up to a flower and you get your nose right in the pollen or the the inners of a flower, and I'm thinking of some very aromatic, heady flowers like a lily. You can get a little endolic, animalic something, something going on mixed with some sweetness. And to me, that's a very natural smell, so it never smells like, um, you know, poo poo. <laughs> But anyways, the florals in here are ylang, ylang and champaka. To me, champaka smells like a peach tea with milk. So you take ylang, ylang you take that tropical ylang, ylang you take champaka, and you add vanilla, a very heady, sweet Madagascar vanilla, and this is what you get. The sillage on this is absolutely stunning if it works for you. It is magical, one I absolutely adore. It does read summertime hot weather to me. I don't ever pull it out in the wintertime. It's just a very heady, rich, tropical, sweet vanilla that I love to wear in the hot weather. Okay, this next one, I never would have thought this would have worked in the summertime if I hadn't worn it in 90 degree weather in Italy. I went there last summer and I went to the Profumum Romum Boutique and I wore this one out the door and it's a very sweet fragrance. It is aqua y zucchero which basically means sugar water and that's basically what it is a very sweet vanilla with some fruity notes and it was a sweltering hot day and i walked around downtown rome and i just could smell myself for hours and even though it's sweet it just was never suffocating to me not that it wouldn't be suffocating to other people but i was shocked that this is an incredibly sweet fragrance that never felt suffocating or cloying that's to me, of course. So it's again, a sweet, syrupy, fruity vanilla. I don't know the fruits in here. I think it's just fruity notes, but to give you an idea of what this smells like, I think I had this in an earlier video. This smells similar. This smells similar to pink sugar when you wear them side by side. That's when you really pick up the differences. This one is very, it is smooth. It smells very luxurious. It's sweet. Pink sugar has this plasticky note in it and pink sugar does not last as long. Granted, there's a huge difference in price. So for a price point, and if you are, if you need a budget friendly option, pink sugar is the way to go. As long as you don't mind overspraying, this sucker lasts all day. And I mean all day, this is tenacious. So I do love it. Because, because it smells delicious. It's one of those like summer vanilla indulgences when you really feel like wearing something sweet. And it reminds me of my trip to Italy. The next to last one is very sweet, but it's so light wearing and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it is called Vanilla de Madagascar. And this is by Profumi de Frenzi, not to be confused with the one from SS Pharma Pharmacasia, which I had to, I actually gave that one away because it was discontinued. It was a gorgeous vanilla. But since I don't talk about discontinued fragrances on my channel, I gave that away to a good friend, a very picky friend of mine, Susan. I knew she would love it. But so this has the same name, different fragrance. This is a whipped cream vanilla with some florals. And the florals in here are Lily of the Valley. And it's very, it's very subtle. What I really pick up is a kind of like a 
sweet, slightly burned sugar vanilla with a creaminess with the whipped cream and very, very, very subtle hint of Lily of the Valley or white florals. I mean, if you're overly sensitive to florals, you might pick it up more easily than I would. I mean, if you hate the note of Lily of the Valley, you might pick it up, but this is just stunning. Another very light wearing fragrance. It's sweet, but light wearing. And I think for those reasons, it wears well in the summertime. This is too light, in my opinion, to wear in the cold months. And it just, to me, reads kind of a sweet, fluffy, whipped creamy vanilla that I love to wear in the hot weather. And my last one is another very budget-friendly option from another Italian brand that I discovered last year. I have several in this line now, including Body Care, because I am just so impressed with this house. It is by Tutto Tondo, and I've shown Riso, or at least the body cream in a previous video, and this is called Tiramisu. So this is a vanilla fragrance, and it is gourmand. This is one that I love to wear at night. It is light wearing and probably a little bit too sweet and gourmandy to be wearing willy-nilly in the middle of the day, particularly to work, but a lovely nighttime vanilla and a vanilla that would be fine or a good comfort home vanilla when it's cold. So I'm going to need to look up the notes because the notes, I mean, they're just some super decadent notes, but we have cacao butter, milk cream, tiramisu, beeswax i mean oh and of course vanilla so it smells like it reads now it doesn't smell like a literal tiramisu because in a tiramisu i get a very strong coffee whether you eat it or you're sitting there smelling it before you tear into it this one does not i don't detect a coffee note it is an eggy vanilla it is an eggy creamy vanilla there's an there's a milky eggy creaminess to it so you have to love your gourmands. You have to be a gourmand lover to enjoy this. But I think this whole, this big bottle was like, oh, I don't know, $40. I have like four or five now. I love everything in the line. Somewhat, again, light wearing, but worth every penny. And I'm gonna get the body cream in this one. Not that I need another body cream, but I bet it would just be magical with the two combined. And so that's it. I can't believe I made it before the people started, before everybody started mowing their yards. But that is just a little glimpse of some of my vanillas that I have, I've worn every single one of these already. It's been warm here, it's in the middle of June, so I've worn every one of these already and they've all worked out perfectly in the warm weather. So again, my citrusy vanillas or my lemony vanillas are gonna be in another video. Hopefully I will be filming that later this week. Hey, if you have any summer friendly vanillas that I did not talk about and you want everybody to know about, including me, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for sticking around. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for supporting me. And with that, I hopefully will see you on the next one.